Heavenly Fathers, we open open up the preaching part. We thank you for the singing and oh, all the songs, Lord. Holy they're Spirit. such a blessing, Lord. Uh, Lifted us Holy up. So sweet, oh, God, Lord, Holy Spirit, you. please, you're the oh, preacher. We thank you Hide me behind Jesus. the cross. Take control of these, uh, this tongue in my heart, God, Lord. We thank you this God, what Lord, you've laid on, the, on my heart to Lord, share to these grace, dear people your goodness, and those Jesus. out there, Lord. God, we pray in Jesus' name that you be glorified and in lifted up. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' in name. name Jesus. Anoint every heart, anoint every mind to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise God. We're going to turn to, uh, to start with. My notes here. I'm going to start with uh, Matthew 6 as the foundation. Take no thought. It has to do with Palm Sunday. Matthew 6. And I'm just going to read a few verses, not the whole thing. I've, actually, it's. Uh, Matthew 6, 25 through 34, but I'm not going to read all that. I'm going to read verses 1 and 29 and 34. Or not, no, not, wait a minute. Yeah, verses 1, or no, actually, excuse me, verses 25. Amen. <clears throat> uh, Therefore, I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Amen. Don't worry about these things. Is not life more than meat and the body than raiment? Yeah. And then he goes on to say, I'm, I'm going to read the next verse. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, they're gathered into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than they? Yes, we are. We have a soul. They don't. Amen. 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 So then we're going to go over to verse 29. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Thinking of the lilies that brilliant coloring, especially the purple and the white. A uh, lily found in Nazareth. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is gone, cast in the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Amen. Therefore, take no thought what you're going to say, where we're going to eat, where shall we drink, wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, the world. For your heavenly Father knows that you have need of all these things. Now here's a clincher. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now here's the where I get take no thought. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. For tomorrow shall take thought for its, uh, things of itself. Su sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Amen. He wants us to trust. He wants us to believe. Amen. Oh, God. It is so hard sometimes because you oh, think, God. my goodness, this is going to break down. I, all I got is this. God says, am I not in control? Come on, brother. You know, and I'm like, Amen. I'm like, I feel it. Okay, I'm not going by feelings, Lord. I'm going by faith. I'm going by what your word says. Amen. And he is not going to go against his word. Amen. Amen? Yes. Amen. Praise God. So it's all about uh, Palm, uh, Palm Sunday today. And what is that about? So let's, let's turn to uh, Matthew chapter 21 we're going to read 1, 1 through 11 when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem <clears throat> and were come to Bethphage, uh, very near Jerusalem under the Mount of Olives 
then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway immediately you'll find an ass tied in a colt with her, with her. Loose them, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught, say, Hey, you can't have these. Unto you you shall say, The Lord has need of them. And straightway, immediately he will send them. And all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell you the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king comes to you, meek and sitting on an ass, and a colt, the foal of an ass. And that's found in uh, Zechariah 9.9. 9. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the colt, and put the, on them their clothes as a saddle of sorts. And they set him thereon, and a very good, a great multitude spread their garments in the way. And so thousands who were coming into Jerusalem to celebrate three great feasts, the Passover unleavened <clears throat> bread and the first fruits, God would fulfill all three. Jesus would, Christ would fulfill all three. Others cut down branches from trees and straw, it, scattered them in the way. It was a, a palm branches, palm, whatever the frowns mean. And then the multitudes that went before and that followed, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Now that word Hosanna means help, help, help us, save us. Amen. Wow. I didn't realize that till I dug into it. But blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, in the highest. Praise God. He was, they're recognizing him as Messiah. But he was not recognized by the religious crowd, the Pharisees and Sadducees. And when he was coming into Jerusalem, all the city was moved saying, who is this? We're wondering what's all the what's all the noise about? And verse eleven says, and the multitude said, This is Jesus, prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. You know, they all worshipped him. They all was asking him. They recognized him. But it wouldn't be less than a week. And he'd be crucified. Amen. Amen, brother. And, uh, now that is, that is something. But you know, in, on, on the word help there, how could he help them? Because he was going to be crucified. They would see that. Yeah. But he did something more powerful than just, just say, hey, I'm going to help you with food, or I'm going to help you with this, or help you with that. Amen. He said, I'm going to destroy sin Amen. forever. Amen. Forever one comes to me and is born again, that sin nature is kibosh. It's not eradicated, but it's put to death. Amen. It shouldn't bother you. If it does, walk in closer. That's what I've had to do is press in. You know, if I feel up. Well, so I have to ask the Lord every day, you know, I need a fresh infill. Lord. Lord, I need to pick up the cross Help me, and follow Jesus. you, you know, because we all fall short. Amen. Amen. The only second, the second Adam didn't fall short, the man Christ Jesus. Amen. And so, I want to read John, I think it's John. And Luke, it has it, I think, but I want to read John, because I want to, okay, and chapter 12, and 12 through 19. <clears throat> see here, 12. So on the next day, much people were come to the feast. And when they heard Jesus was coming to dress, they took branches of palm trees, forth to meet him, and cried, Hosanna, to help. And then Jesus, when he found a young ass there on sat, it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, a king comes sitting on an ass's colt. 
These things understood not his disciples at first. But when Jesus was glorified, they remembered that these things were written of him, and that they had done these things unto him. And the people, therefore, who was with him when he called Lazarus out of the grave and raised him from the dead, bear record. For this cause, the people also met him, for they that they heard that he had done this miracle. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing. Behold, a world has gone after him. I'm praying for a mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit. I just don't say that to say that. We need that. The Holy, the Holy Spirit, when it comes in, I know because I've experienced it when I was saved April 11, 1971. I was a complete mess. I wanted nothing to do with church. I was like the Apostle Paul. I didn't murder anybody, but, I, but with my tongue maybe. But I hated church. It was false. Yeah. As he, he preached about the deception in church, I know about it now. Amen. I wondered why could my grandmother straighten out my dad, who was an alcoholic, a severe alcoholic. It drove me into sin like I didn't want to go. I told my stepmom when I was 12, I want nothing to do with that garbage. I said, then all I thought about was football. Thank God I never got further with that because the Lord fixed that with a, with a tailbone issue. But uh, praise God, Jesus is real. Amen. He is the answer. Amen. He is the only answer. Amen. Hallelujah. When he died on that cross, it's finished. Yeah. We don't have to do anything but just believe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's Amen. no devil in hell that can, that can beat you down. Oh, well, he can try. But when yeah. you start praising God, he leaves. Amen. When you start pleading the blood, he leaves. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's a fact. That's a scriptural fact. Glory to God. And I, I, I thank God for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that night after I got saved. And I never felt that. I got scared. I thought, what is this? Because somebody got tongues and interpretation and, and the person giving the interpretation, it sounded like, whoa. I mean... There was fear in my heart, and I didn't know what, what was the right fear and what was the wrong, because they never t touched that back then too much. They didn't touch sanctification too much, how to live. But oh, praise God. We keep our faith anchored, and we keep giving it to Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory to God. He'll lift us up higher. Amen. He'll lift us up higher and closer to us. Closer to him, Bruce. Amen. Amen. You'll feel a peace. I felt a peace that I couldn't believe. I was like, stuff going haywire. It's like, oh well. Praise God, you know. We'll fix it somehow. And and the Lord just directed us how to fix it, you know. Amen. And we're we're facing the you said, are we facing something? Yeah, we're facing something. But we ain't facing it alone. Amen. When we go into the lawyer's office Thursday. God's going to go in there with us. Amen. He's Amen. already there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And we ain't backing down for the devil one bit. Praise the Lord. Amen. But God is going to, I don't Lord. know what he's going to do. It doesn't matter. All I know is that God wins and the Amen. devil loses. Praise God. Now, I want to uh, read out of Psalm 92. Now, I didn't know that was connected. I read it. 92 and I want to go with verses 12 and 13. You got it? Amen. Verse 12 says, The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. And verse 13 says, 
Those who be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Amen. So I got to read the, the comment that uh, Brother Swaggart has on verse 12. A believer is comparable to a uh, palm and to a cedar. The one grows in a sandy plain, the other on a rugged mountain. The one has a tap root that draws nourishment from beneath. The other is refreshed by from above. The one is beautiful other, and the other is strong. The Christian has a secret source of life. He receives blessing from beneath and from above. And he is morally beautiful and strong. That comes from Amen. heaven itself. Yeah. Amen. And uh, those who are planted in a, they flourish for a while, but then they'll be cut off. Nevertheless, those who are planted in God's grace will eternally flourish. Amen. We'll go from victory to victory. Yeah. Victory to victory. From defeat to victory. Say we got defeated. Praise God. Bring it to Him. He'll bring you to victory. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And I thought this in uh, Zechariah 9 9. You don't have to turn there, but I'm, I'm going to read this. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king comes unto you. He is just and having salvation lowly Amen. and riding on an ass and upon a colt the foal of an ass amen now in matthew he's portrayed as your king in mark he is lowly he is a servant in luke he's just hence the man in john he is god therefore having salvation amen praise god amen. hallelujah Glory to God. Hallelujah. But you know, in the first event, he came as Prince of Peace in his first advent. Right. In his second advent, he's going to be mounted on a war horse. And there's going to be horses behind him, and I'm going to be on one. Amen. Amen. I think everybody in here is. Are you? Amen. 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 Praise God. And he is going to say, put an end to all this mess that's going on right now. Amen. Hallelujah. I just give God the glory this morning. Uh, Amen. We just uh, have experienced, uh, my wife and I, His presence. I, I, I've been experiencing it stronger and stronger since. It just seems like it's getting worse and worse. That's true, brother. But you know what? He says when it gets worse, hang on. Amen. I like what an evangelist said. They're in the boat, and they're going to the other side, and they hit a storm. Oh, man, what's he doing down there sleeping? So he comes up, and, oh, you little faith. And Amen. he speaks to them waves. Amen. You don't have to do anything but just speak. Praise God. And he spoke to them waves. And they said, what manner of man is he? Yeah. Take that with you today. Amen. What manner of man is he? Take no thought. Amen. And this evangelist said, It ain't about the storm. It ain't about this. It's about maybe you're still in your storm. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yeah. Keep pressing in. Rolling. Amen. Going. Amen. That's hard. This is like you want to give up. Amen. You're tired. You know, yeah. that song that was saying. How about when we're when we're down, you know, we're in the valley. Amen. Well, that's when the old devil says, Yeah, hey, see, you're not saved. Yeah, well, you know what I do? I ain't got the same habits there, devil. I hate what you what you, what you love. Amen. And I love what you hate. Amen. And you hate the blood of Jesus. Amen. You hate church. Amen. You hate this, you hate that. But I'm gonna tell you what, the love of God has taken over. Amen. Amen. So my 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 question is, and here as well as out there, are you saved? Are you born again? If you're born again, you will never be the same. 
Amen. You're a new person in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The old things pass away. If they're not passing away, you're not saved. Yeah. Because what old things? It could be cigarettes. It could be any sin habitually. Amen. We all have the sin nature. We can't say we don't have. But we can say if we're born again, that I don't have any habitual sin. It's gone. I hate what I, what I use. I love what uh, dear pastor and I'll share this and then we're going to pray. He said, boy, when I look back, oh, I see the old me. So I, I look forward because I'm going to heaven. Amen. He said, I ain't going back. Amen. He said, I'm going to heaven. Amen. 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 I will leave that with you. Amen. Heavenly Father, oh, Lord, God, I pray you for you morning, out Jesus. there as you heard this message. Are you oh, saved? Lord, Do you believe in that Jesus that came to this earth to born in a manger, Lord. wrapped in swaddling clothes? Uh, Do you believe loss, and confess Jesus man. Christ as, as Lord, Savior heart, Lord, as he died on that cross and rose from the dead? Lord, Amen. As, late, as the Father said, we have to believe. And I, I'm believing all you have to do is just ask oh, him, cry Lord, out yes, to him. God, you know this world's this a morning, mess. Jesus. You know that you can't do what you're doing Lord, save and, and say that you're late. saved. I don't care what it is, save pride, Jesus. Save uh, ignorance, whatever it is. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these people. Yes, Holy Lord. Spirit, go into their homes, go into schools, go into colleges, go into our government. Lord, which is so corrupt. So, oh God, in Jesus' name, Lord, that, uh, that they stand for what's right. In Jesus' precious name, Lord, we ask, oh God, uh, for just for you to pour out your spirit, Lord, as you poured it out in this little sanctuary here. It ain't little when God is in it. Hallelujah. We give you all praise and all honor and all glory. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.